quick uh, rundown of the system as it is. Um, you can see here we've got the buttons, which is the up button, down button, scroll button, and the menu button. So let me just reset the system so we can start over from the beginning. Basically what you get, you've done the EEPROM right, um, and it gives you a few seconds to enter the menu button. So for that, we just enter the menu button. Here you can see what the latest version of the software is. So pushing the menu button again, will take you through the menu. Using the up and down button, you can set your battery size. Okay, moving on to the next option. It will allow you to calibrate the volt readings. Um, DIY project and tolerance in the resistances. Uh, allows us not to uh, do a factory calibration. So with that, push up and down button while your device is connected to a multimeter and the battery so that you can see exactly what your correct voltage is. The figure on the right hand side is your multiplication factor or your error value. So you don't have to worry about it, you'll just see it changing as we change the values. Right, going over to the next function, which is the low volt alarm. This is when your buzzer will start screaming. So you can see on yeah, I've got my buzzer. Now at any point in time during the menu, if I want to go back to the previous item, I can just push the scroll button and it'll take me back. Alright, so uh, after I've set up the low volt alarm to say 20%, move on to the next item, which is when the relay will switch off to kick off your non-essential load. That can be set with the up and down button. Next item is when should it switch back on, so at what point of charge should your load be switched back on again. Um, here you can set your LCD brightness, so you can see it goes up and down and sets brighter and darker. Next item on the menu is to set your charge of efficiency or efficiency of charge. Um, obviously you can change that as well, which is what you put in doesn't necessarily go out as storage. Some of it just gets wasted in your battery. Right, once you press menu button again, it'll tell you it's saving the values. This values then gets written to the EEPROM. And it saves the values. See, I'm running through the startup screen, which indicates to you the size of the battery and then just what each means. So, the top screen will show the voltage of the battery, percentage of the battery, the amount of amp hours remaining, and you can see at the bottom I'm scrolling through the items. So, to stop scrolling, I'll just push the scroll button. Okay, so let's start at the beginning of the menu. So first item here will just show what is your current amp going in, current amps going out. So if I plug in the charger, if I plug in the charger, you can see the amp starts climbing up, volt starts climbing up. I'm just going to unplug it for now. Right, so it will take some time to settle again. Okay, the same with load, if I start a compressor on this side. can see the amount of current. Now if I push up and down, I can jump through the menu items. So you can see, this is the amp hours being drawn. Obviously there's not a lot at the moment, because I just stopped and started charge and load. This will change as you go along. Okay, this will give you estimated hours remaining, based on your consumption that you are using. The maximum volts. Now any of these values can be reset by pressing the menu button. So you can press the menu button and it will reset. So if we go through, maximum amp in, so I can reset that as well, back to zero. I know, I'm not full. Reset this. Okay, this will indicate balance between positive and negative, amp hours in versus amp hours out. Okay, here you can see the indication of the relay. It's currently set on auto. As I press the menu button, I can leave it permanently on. Or I can switch it off. So I just leave it in auto. And this auto function is what you set up in the menu. And from there, if you go a bit further, you can find your setup, which if you press the menu button again, you'll enter setup and you can set up all these things while inside your main code. Okay, I'm just going to do much about that now. Right, and once you get out of setup and you leave your screen alone, it'll basically sit, and you can just press the scroll button, and it'll automatically scroll through the menu items. 
right so so if i start running a compressor again you can see those values will be <laughs> Obviously there's a large variation um, due to the small size of the battery that we're running for. Um, but yeah, that's the ins and outs of the battery monitor.